The largest economy in the world is the economy of world trade. Around the globe, e-commerce and logistics are growing. The buzzwords are autonomous driving, robots and blockchain. To understand how this will change this industry, I am talking today in Frankfurt to Bert Napier. He is President, FedEx Express Europe and CEO TNT. My name is Martin Roos. Welcome to The Business Debate. Welcome, Bert Napier. FedEx is the largest express transportation company in the world. How would you describe your responsibility in the environment? Our responsibility is, is significant. We have more than 14 million shipments a day. And so with that scale of operation, we have to really think about how uh, we operate uh, in a sustainable way. And we think operations and sustainability in the environment go hand in hand. Many times innovation and the innovation in our business pushes us uh, in, in a direction to be more efficient. And those technologies like biofuel that we may use in an aircraft uh, will be more efficient for us. They have a good impact to the environment. Uh, and then we can reinvest that efficiency and continuing to explore ways to be more responsible as a transportation company in the environment. But uh, do you really believe innovation is enough? It will never be enough. You will never stop actually this pollution. Innovation is the way where we can continue to push uh, our business in a sustainable way. The balance that we're, we're dealing with is a balance between the human desire to trade uh, and an operating a transportation company in a responsible way. Trade has been a part of human civilization for, for centuries uh, and it's driven uh, our world forward, it's improved lives, it creates more connectedness and it's what humans ultimately desire. And so we don't ever see that going away, but, but at the same time, you we will, have to innovate. You will still destroy the environment. Innovation is not the solution, actually. It's, it stops a bit, but it will not really save anything. We think that innovation does uh, really have an impact. Uh, that's why we continue to invest. Uh, the way we innovate allows us to have more uh, profitability that we can invest in solutions, something like biofuel, uh, which we've recently used to fly a Boeing 777 aircraft. And it's not just about aircraft, it's also about electric vehicles, but also something that many people don't think about every day, which is the packaging that our customers use. We have a packaging lab in Memphis in our global headquarters where we bring customers in to make them more efficient about the packaging that they use, how much, uh, too much of a box that they use uh, in terms of the way they ship, which is good for us, it's good for them, it reduces damages, but it's also another way where we can have an impact on the environment and, and reducing waste. So it's the dilemma, we need you, we need the logistic business, but you are the bad boy? I think it's about trade, really. I think, honestly, uh, if you look at human civilization and the history of trade in the world all the way through to now, uh, humans demand trade and they demand travel and access to goods and they always will. And so it's a balance between the environment and how we continue to meet the demands of our customers. You had another idea, vehicle platooning. What's behind that? Vehicle platooning is really just a technology where uh, you use a lead truck uh, in, in, in this example. So a lead truck would have multiple vehicles. Is it like autonomous driving then? It is in some ways. The lead truck will be uh, usually manned. And then the two vehicles or three or however many behind uh, will be in command of the lead truck. Uh, these things are more efficient, uh, but also the biggest thing we focus on in something like this is not only the impact to the environment, but safety. We have to make sure that any new technology like that uh, is, was safe uh, and, and will not have a harmful impact on the communities in which we live and work. But I can imagine your competitors in the market, they do the same. So what's the difference? Why should I go for you? Well, FedEx, we think, uh, differentiates in many ways. Our global scale in terms of more than 650 aircraft, almost 200,000 vehicles, uh, more than 400,000 team members, and more importantly, we connect 99% of the world's GDP. And so our capabilities really, uh, particularly with our recent acquisition of TNT in Europe, put us in a position of, of unparalleled success. We are talking about the global market. You are responsible for Europe. So what is the importance of Europe actually? Europe is a significant market for FedEx. And in 2016, we acquired TNT, which has been a catalyst for us in terms of building Europe's premier logistics business. I could imagine the integration TNT FedEx is not that easy. How do you manage that? The integration is going very well, actually, at this point. Uh, we have the ability to put together uh, two fantastic businesses with the TNT road network and its strength, the FedEx air network and its strength. And we have to remember that we're doing this for our team members and our customers. 
This is opening up possibilities for our customers that we've never had, particularly with the scale we have in Europe with 1,000 stations, nearly 49,000 team members, and the ability to leverage our air hubs in Liège, Paris, and Cologne con to connect our customers globally. Uh, we can now do overnight shipping in Europe, which we've always been able to do, but we can connect customers to the US in one business day and to Asia in two business days. Another challenge could be the Brexit. Is it any problem for you? Brexit is a challenge. Uh, Brexit is something that we're focused on in, in terms of how do we understand what's going to happen uh, between the EU and the UK. The thing that we look at from a FedEx perspective is just getting ourselves prepared. And we do that by looking at our IT systems, our network itself, our customers and our employees. Blockchain is another buzzword in your industry. What is the idea about blockchain and what is the challenge? Blockchain is a, is a data-driven solution. It's technology that will allow uh, data when it's passed multiple times to become more seamless. And you can see this in how you would apply it in our business through something like customs clearance, where data passes from a customer to FedEx and then to a customs agency, and that's handed off multiple times. Blockchain could give you an ability to make that more seamless and make the process more efficient. If you look in two or three or four years in the future, what could be for your company the most important thing and the most important change? I think e-commerce is a place where we have to continue to focus. Customers continue to demand more services and more technology and capability, particularly in the areas of convenience where they want it delivered, when they want it delivered, and how they want it delivered. And so in that regard, we're going to have to continue to watch the e-commerce landscape and innovate there and really be focused on that. The other place is trade. I think we really have to keep an eye on trade with Brexit and what will happen there between the EU and the UK, but also with the US and China. Bert, thank you and thank you for joining us. Thank you.